top at that. Now again. Page two of page. Two. Book color ID two. The iPhone is unique because um, it's two. really the first and only product that I know of that's accessible. It's a it's a uh, commercially available product that's accessible right out of the box. Before the iPhone, my cell phone that I had, I had to, to buy another piece of software that cost $200 or so to make it talk. And I had to have sighted assistance to help me install that. With the iPhone, right after I got it, we were shopping, my wife and I, and right after I got it, she still wanted to shop. I, w I was finished shopping, so I sat on the bench and was able to play around with my iPhone with, with no sighted assistance. The accessibility is already built in there. Contact at that. Navigant, page two of two, color ID two. This is new. Before the iPhone, I would have had to use a computer with screen magnification or speech to check email. You know, I couldn't have been mobile. Anything Earl older than an iPhone 4 isn't accessible. It doesn't have the voiceover feature on it. The problem with the iPhone is the expense. That's why we're doing this thing where we're trying to collect uh, old iPhones to, kind of, to, to, uh, to, to use them to teach to show people that you can use this, you know, this would be worth your while because to tell a blind person, oh, you should go out and get this phone, you should spend $400 on this phone and, you know, $30 for a phone plan and $25 for data every month, and I do it because they don't think they can use the phone, but once you show them that you can really use this, then they might be more likely to do that. Because you want the, ca the camera's here, so. Hey, blue. Okay, so my pants. If you would have told me that five or ten years ago that a totally blind person or even even somebody like me would be able to use a touch screen very light blue screen um blue spray my hair very pale purple <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, well, i'd have told you you were crazy